Hello, my name is Leo Lighter. Welcome you to this video where we're going to continue and taking a look at getting up and running with Substance Painter. In this video, we're going to go ahead and look at how we can start to apply materials to our asset here. Now, before we go any further, let's just talk briefly about Substance Painter and Substance Designer. So we are currently using Substance Painter, which is an application that's going to allow us to paint the materials onto our assets. However, there is an, a separate application, Substance Designer, which is going to allow us to design the materials. So if you have Substance Designer and you want to create your own custom materials, then you can go ahead and do that. Now, if you don't have access to that application and you only have access to Substance Painter, what you can do is you can go over to this website that says uh, Substance Share. So that's, uh, you go over to Substance Share and then if you look under the materials, you can see here that we have a bunch of materials that we can go ahead and download ready for use. So once we have, once you have the materials you would like to use, um, in order to import them, you just go, go ahead and open the folder in which they are in. And under, let's just minimize this just for a moment, under the materials here, not the smart materials, under the materials, we're going to go ahead and left click and drag these in here. And once we do that, we're going to get these options. And the first option is going to allow us to import these materials, but they will only be active while we are working. What that means is that the moment we close this application and reopen them, those materials will be gone. The second one allows these materials to be saved locally to this project. So that means that if we save this project, close it and reopen it, those materials will still be there, um, which is unlike the first option. And the third option is going to make it universal. That is to say, no matter what project we open, the materials will always be there. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the second one for now. And once that's done, those materials will be brought in. So how do we go ahead and add the material here? Well, this is pretty simple. What we're going to do is we have our layers and first of all, layers work pretty much like Photoshop. You can see we have, um, we can choose which layer this is being applied to. So we're going to go ahead and choose base color, but we, we basically just layer up our materials. So let's go ahead and take this a base layer here going to go ahead and delete this and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose this option that says add folder from here I'm going to double click and it's going to allow me to rename this and I'm going to call this uh let's just call this base paint with that done what we need to do is we need to go ahead and add a fill layer now a fill layer allows us to add a material so we're going to go ahead and choose this option that says add fill layer going to press this and this fill layer is outside of the um, folder here so let's just go ahead and click and drag that on top and you see that now that has been added inside our folder we can double click on this and let's just call this um let's call this base paint so with that done let's go ahead and select the base paint and all we have to do is go to our materials and select the material in which we'd like to apply so I'm going to go ahead and type in steel and I'm going to go ahead and choose this steel rough. And now you can see that we've applied the steel to our, to our asset here. So what we want to do is we now want to go ahead and add the paint on top of that. And uh, the reason being is that we want to then start to show those, the, the layer underneath when the, when the paint, where the paint has become worn. So again, we're going to go ahead and choose a fill layer. And as you can see, it goes back to white and that's because there's no material here. So let's go ahead and double click this and call this paint, uh, or let's just call this red paint. And once we've done that, we can go ahead, go under the materials and let's go ahead and type in red. And we see we have the options here for the red paint. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And now you can see we have the red paint. So that's how we add our materials. In the next video, we're going to look at how we can start to restrict this to only the areas of the asset where we want the red paint and look at how we can start to expose some of the weathered effects. But for now, I'd like to thank you for watching. Until next time, bye-bye for now.